If you get stuck for new and interesting color combinations, grab some cardstock and a little bit of bleach and let the bleach determine your second color. You will be amazed at the beautiful combinations that you will see when you bleach different colors of our Pure Luxury cardstock. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this technique. First, you're going to need some stamps, and I'm using a stamp set that at one time was our One Free with Three, and now it's in our regular inventory. It's called Fall Foliage. Now, Fall Foliage is a variety of beautiful leaves, and although the name says fall, you can also use this stamp set in the spring and in the summer, too, just by coloring the leaves green or more summery and spring colors. You're also going to need some embossing powder, and I have some of the Ranger Superfine Detail Black Embossing Powder. When you're working with images that have this much detail, you want to stick with a detail embossing powder so that all the subtleties of the image come through. Then you're going to need an anti-static pad, and I'm using the Embossing Magic anti-static pad to remove static from my cardstock and also any oils or debris that might get onto the piece of cardstock so the embossing powder only sticks where I want it. Then you're going to need some embossing ink, and I'm using a Versamark pad for that. I'm also going to use some bleach, and here I have just some regular Clorox household bleach, and I've put it into a small cup like this. This is just a little plastic cup. And then I need something to apply the bleach to my card, and I'm using a Niji water brush. Now I don't recommend filling up the tube, the canister that comes in it. This is made for water, and over time the bleach is going to dry up and get crystally and brittle, and that will mess up your canister here. So just keep that empty and just use the tip of the brush by dipping it into the bleach. Then when you're done, you can wash the tip of the brush with some warm soapy water and let it dry, and you can use it again for water coloring or other water types of techniques. Now the cardstock I decided to use when I tried this technique was a piece of our Christmas pine cardstock. And I had the feeling that when I bleached this, it would come up a much brighter green or maybe even a little bit yellow. And I was going to do something with Christmas pine and one of our yellow cardstocks. But wait till you see what happens when I bleach this piece of cardstock. I was so excited. So to begin, I'm going to take the embossing magic pad and just rub that all over the surface of this piece of Christmas pine cardstock. Then I'm going to use one of the leaves from the fall foliage stamp set and ink that up real well with some Versamark ink. Now this is a little bit difficult to see on screen, but you will be able to see it when you're working with it in your own stamp room because it will leave a watermark behind. And you can see that a little bit there. That's not too hard to see. And it really depends on the color cardstock. Some of it's a little more difficult to see. Now, as you're working, make sure you're turning the leaves in different directions so it doesn't create too much of a pattern. You don't want your leaves all going in the same direction. And I'll put one right here. And also, as you can see, as I'm working, I am stamping the leaves off the piece of cardstock, not all inside the borders, so that it looks more like a piece of pattern paper and less like a main focal image. I'll do one more here. And then I can come in here on the side with just a little piece of one of the leaves. There we go. So now my next step is to take some of this fine detail black powder and I'm going to work over a small index card here. You can use a folded piece of cardstock or some copy paper, something to work on to catch your embossing powder. And I'm going to sprinkle that embossing powder all over these leaves. And I want to brush away the excess and make sure there's no areas of my cardstock that are going to turn into embossed areas that I don't want. There we go. So you can see now I have my 
leaves here with embossing powder on them. My next step is going to be to emboss these leaves using my heat tool. So let's turn that on. And you'll be able to see as soon as that embossing powder gets shiny, it's done. You don't want to overcook it. You want it to remain shiny. If you emboss it for too long, the shine will go away and essentially what you will have done was burnt your embossing powder. And you don't want to do that. You want to keep it glossy. So it doesn't take very long for that shine to appear. There we go. Okay. So now I have this beautiful little piece of Christmas pine cardstock all embossed and ready for my bleach. Now this is very similar to coloring with markers if you've never done this before. You're basically going to use your little Niji water brush or whatever paintbrush you have as a marker and you're going to color in your leaves with bleach. So I'm going to start by dipping that into the bleach and then I'm going to just run the bleach right over the entire area of the leaf. I'm not worrying about the embossing powder because where there's embossing powder nothing's going to happen. Now I know it's a little bit hard to see but once I go back and warm it up again with the heat tool you're going to be surprised at how vibrant this turns up. If you can see on the screen some of these leaves now are starting to turn up a bright and I mean bright vibrant turquoise color. Looks almost identical to our turquoise C cardstock. And I'm going to continue to color. And it's always good to have something underneath your work area to block between what you're working on and your table or your mat underneath. So I just have a piece of gray cardstock underneath to catch some of this bleach. And that's protecting my work surface underneath. Almost done. And I'm sure you can start to see some of those leaves coming up bright and turquoise. Turquoise would have been the absolute last color I would have thought that these would come up. Well, now that I think about it, it makes a lot of sense. But I really expected a bright green or even a little bit of yellow. Now I'm going to take the heat tool again, and I'm going to heat it from underneath. So as I'm heating it from underneath, it's going to get brighter and brighter. You see that starting to get brighter? And the reason why I'm heating it from underneath is I really do not want to burn that embossing powder. So by heating it from underneath, I'm still giving it the heat that the bleach needs to process, but I'm not risking burning the embossing powder. Now you can hit it a little bit on top, but you don't want to hold it on any one area for too long. And now you can see even some of those areas have turned white. Isn't that pretty? So unexpected. So now, a color combination that I would have never put together, the Christmas pine cardstock and our turquoise sea cardstock, becomes a beautiful combination all tied in with this focal strip. So let me show you a finished card project that I made using this technique. Here is the card that I did. And you can see that this uses the pine green as a card base and also shining through here in that focal image strip. And then I used some of our turquoise C cardstock and I used one of our ocean mix buttons. There are turquoise C buttons in that ocean mix. And I just used a glue dot to adhere that onto this greeting. The greeting here comes from the Fall Foliage stamp set. And it's just such a nice follow-up card to maybe a lunch that you had with a friend or a dinner party that you were invited to. Our time together is a blessing. Such a nice sentiment can be used any time of the year.
And then I took a Swiss dot cuddle bug folder and embossed this piece of turquoise sea cardstock. And I used um, some black onyx underneath and then some white cardstock. Same with the focal image strip, same color combination. And that is my finished card project, perfect for any time of the year. When you have some free time, stamp and emboss an image on lots of different colors of pure luxury cardstock and bleach each one to create your own swatch book of new and exciting color combinations. <music>